Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our clients most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google account lock on an Android device. This is also sometimes referred to as FRP, which stands for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we have a ZTE Blade V8 Pro, and this device does actually have the Google account lock enabled, as we can see here if we take a peek at the setup process. So during the setup process, it's uh, brings us to this screen that says that it has been reset and it's asking us to sign in with the Google account that was previously on the device. That's because the factory reset was done without removing that account from the device and so now as a security feature it's asking for that in order to continue and proceed and use it as normal. We'll explain more about that in a little bit here, but we're basically making this video to show all of our clients that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this particular device. And that's actually something that I'm gonna do right here to it with our computer programs while I'm making this, just as proof so that everyone can see it. So I've got it booted into the bootloader mode here, and this should just take a couple of minutes to run through and do its thing. Then we should be able to see that it reboots out of that, and then we can get in and access the phone as normal. A little bit of background on the Google account lock if you're not familiar with it. It's something that uh, Google started back in Android 5 kind of as an extra security feature to combat a lot of the theft and the fraud that happens with mobile devices these days. So again, as I explained, if the device is factory reset without first removing the account that's on it, it's going to ask for that account again after the device uh, restarts from the factory reset. It's something that was first actually started by Samsung. They initiated uh, something like that with their own devices, and then Apple quickly copied them with their iCloud lock feature. And now Google has the same thing for all Android devices, regardless of who the original manufacturer is. Samsung, HTC, LG, they all have that built in. So we've successfully removed the lock here, and we're just waiting for it to turn back on. We've got the ZTE logo, and then the Blade V8 Pro there. Give this a second. Okay, so on the welcome screen, so we're gonna go ahead and start clicking through. We're gonna hit skip. It's gonna check the connection there. Hopefully that shouldn't actually take two minutes. Software update, checking info. Okay, see this is a good, uh, a good sign because previously that screen is exactly where the Google account lock appeared. So we're just gonna skip that, hit no thanks. Checking info again. Okay, so now if you'll notice, it's asking us to sign into any Google account instead of specifically requiring the one that was on it before. So now we should be able to skip through all the way to the end. No, no thanks, skip. I'm just gonna skip through the rest of this so that we can get right to the home screen and show you. Okay, there we are. So we're at the device's main home screen now. The lock has been fully removed and now the device is able to be used by anyone setting it up under any Google account now. And then just to show you exactly what we're working with here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the about section here to show you the exact model number of everything that we're working with to show that it is a Blade V8 Pro, model number Z978. So if you have a Blade V8 Pro and need the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has everything there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy down the road. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.